It's Friday, fool! And you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and every Friday I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop or that I have featured on this channel. Cheers, Mick. The Mick 26. So this week's tool falls right in theme with the sheet metal theme that I've been doing over the last couple weeks. And this one's a little different. Most of you, I'm guessing, have probably not seen this tool. I don't even know that any of you will even need it. But it's a pretty good one. And that is the Microstop Countersinker. 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 Basically, I'm just gonna tell you what I use this tool for, and then you can kind of figure out what you might use it for, if not for the same exact thing that I use it for. Is that enough use it for us? So basically the way this thing works is it has this outer housing and in the center it has a shaft with a bit on the end, okay, and it moves. And you can see that it, when I push that in, this thing protrudes out a specified distance. That distance can be changed with this tool. So it's just got this little lock nut, you just unscrew it. And then this little piece here in the center comes back Got little teeth on it. See that? Got little teeth on it, and then you just adjust this outer piece to change the depth of the bit. Once you get it where you want it, you let go, it locks it in place, and then you've got this little lock nut that kind of keeps it from moving. So, what I use this thing for is anytime you're doing uh, either solid rivets that have a beveled edge like the flush style rivets, or even like a flush style bolt. This thing can countersink a perfect depth for that bolt to be perfectly level with your material every time. Once you get it adjusted, you're ready to go. This bit in particular has an eighth inch guide nipple. Looks like a nipple to me. And then the cutting teeth above it. So for instance, you got some aluminum panels, you're gonna put a, a flush mount bolt or a flush mount rivet in it. You're gonna drill your hole. For this, I'm gonna use an eighth inch bit. All right, I've got some holes drilled in it. Now, when you're using like a countersink or countersunk or flush mount solid rivet or bolt, if you just slide it in the hole the way it is, it's gonna hang out a little bit. See, it's not flush mounted. Well, that's because it's designed to be countersunk. That's where this thing comes in. You just put the little nipple in the hole. That's basically gonna guide it for you. And then just run it. It's gonna basically determine what the depth of that countersink is gonna be. Once you get it adjusted right, just right, you slide the bolt or the rivet in there, it'll be perfectly flush every time. So if you have a bunch of holes that you're gonna be doing, they all need to be countersunk for the same flush mount bolts or rivets or whatever it is that you're using. You drill your holes, you go back, use your countersinker, and you're golden. It's really that easy. This thing can really be a very useful tool if you're basically doing a lot of countersinking. If you have a shop, you're building an airplane, I don't mean, I don't know who's watching. If you're on hot rods and you like solid rivets, it doesn't matter what you're doing, this thing can be useful. I could also see some other uses for it other than just a countersink bit. I really don't know what they are myself because that was the reason I bought this was just for exactly what I'm using it for. Go check them out. I'll drop some links in the description as I always do. I'm gonna take a look, 
See what you think. I don't know. Might be something you want. Anyway, there you go, guys. This week's tool, the Microstop countersink. Let me know what you would use it for. Drop me a comment. As always, thank you for joining me. I'm sure I'll see you guys next week. It's Friday, fool! Thank you.